boys and girls and welcome to Arsenal TV. This is my preview for the Arsenal versus Brighton game, which is today at the Emirates Stadium, half four kickoff. Guys, this is a massive, massive game for us. You know, we're, we're going to come in back from the Valencia game in the Europa League. And uh, we're 90 minutes away from a European final. And it's not very often that we've actually said that. Um, now, I feel that this game is, gonna, is the be-all, end-all, to be quite honest, for that uh, top four spot for Champions League. Um, and I think that if we don't win today, then all the pressure will be on Europa League as from, you know, when we go into that game. Let's get into Arsenal, guys. Um, Arsenal are looking to avoid four defeats in a row. Um, now, if you remember, the three defeats that we previously had was... Crystal Palace, where we lost 3-2. Um, we lost against Wolves, 2-1. And then we lost in our previous Premier League game, which was against Leicester, 3-0. So I do reckon that during this game, I reckon Emery, Unai Emery will probably rotate the squad a little bit because I've noticed that um, Torreira might have a knock. Um, so I'm debating whether he'll be playing in this game or not. Um, but yeah, it's this is it. This is it. This is the final game at home in the um, Premier League and we need to win it because if we win it, then we'll probably go fourth because uh, Chelsea have slipped up um, and obviously Tottenham have slipped up as well. Um, but the only thing is, I think this is the game that we must win. Um, but if we don't win it, then all the pressure will be on Thursday night. Uh, to get that win and to win Europa League. Now, let's get into Brighton. Uh, Brighton have not won in their last seven Premier League games so far. Uh, they are looking to increase their four-point cushion ahead of Cardiff, but it, it looks as if Cardiff are actually relegated now. So Brighton, um, they don't have to go into this game with a lot of pressure on them. Um, but... I reckon that it is going to be a tough game now. We've already played against Brighton this season. We played against Brighton um, away and we drew 1-1. So, um, yeah, it is going to be a very, very tough game. Very, very tough. But, you know, we're at home, so we should be able to win this game quite comfortably. Now, a little note for you guys. Uh, now, Arsenal are unbeaten in the last seven home meetings against Brighton. Uh, in all competition, uh, but we have only conceded only just one goal. We've won six games and drew one in the last seven home meetings against Brighton. That's a little note for you. Um, so it proves that we are capable of beating them, um, and it's not very often that they do win a game against us. They've never, they haven't beaten us at the Emirates, but. This game is a must win, as I said, it is a must win because if we don't win this game, then all the pressure will be on Europa League for us to get into Champions League next season. And then Unai Emery will have to play his full starting eleven for that uh, Europa League game to get us that Champions League next season. But if we win this game against Brighton, then I think we should be fine um, in getting that Champions League spot. And then we can go into the Premier. We, then we can go into the Europa League game with hardly any pressure on us. So let's see what happens, and hopefully, let, and hopefully we can get the three points. So, guys, with that said, I'm going to get into my predicted lineup, and this is what I am going with. I'm going to go. I'm going to revert back to a back four because of a rotation. Uh, I think that. Some of the players will not be playing against Brighton and I think some of the players, he might rest them for Europa League game on Thursday in the second leg against Valencia. So, with that said, let's get into it. In goal, I'm going to go with Bernd Leno. Pretty plain and simple choice. He is the Premier League goalkeeper. Um, I would have preferred him playing in Europa League, but do you know what? Petr Cech hasn't done too bad. So, uh, I'm going to stick with Leno in between the sticks. Um, so, guys, we're going to move into that defensive area. First off, at right back, I'm going to go with Mustafi. Um, now, as we know, that Ainsley Maitland-Niles is suspended for the Premier League. Now, there would be a bit of a debate where people might say, well, you could put Licksteiner there or you could put Jenkinson there. Yeah, the only thing is Jenkinson and, and Licksteiner. Licksteiner hasn't played for a while and I feel that um, he would be a rusty when he comes on. 
So I'm going to stick with Mustafi in that right in that right back position. We're going to move into the two centre backs. So first off, I'm going to go with Socrates. Um, I think that out of the defenders playing in that Europa League game against Valencia, I feel that Socrates was the weakest the weakest one out of the lot. I don't think Socrates had a I don't think he had a good game to be quite honest. He was lunging into tackles where he should not have lunged into. Um, but apart from that, I, I'm going to stick with him. So that is what I'm going with. Playing alongside him, I'm going to go with Mavro Panos. Um, I feel that oh, the reason why I've gone with Mavro Panos is because I feel that with Lauren Koscielny, we have to deal with his Achilles injury. Um, and he has played a few, quite a few games now. And I feel that this is the game where... Uh, Unai Emery will most likely rest him, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Mavro Panos. Playing in that left-back position, I'm going to go with Nacho Monreal. Um, I think Mac Nacho Monreal should be uh, back from the injury that he had, so um, yeah, that is what I'm going to go with, Nacho Monreal. Um, we're going to move into the midfield area, and this is the, this is the place where I have changed as well. Um, first off, in that defensive midfield, I've gone with Matteo Guendouzi. Um, I've took out Lucas Torreira because I feel that he might have had a knock during that Valencia game. Um, and I think this is where Unai Emery might have to go with Guendouzi. Um, I wouldn't want Mohamed El sideways, uh, to be quite honest. I wouldn't want him um, uh, playing alongside um, Guendouzi. But I feel that this is will be the right choice to go with so I'm gonna go with Guendouzi playing alongside him is gonna be Granit Xhaka um, as I said before I don't want El Nenny playing alongside Guendouzi because it just doesn't work um, if you're gonna play Guendouzi then you have gotta have Xhaka or to or playing with Torreira but this is where I feel that Granit Xhaka will be playing um, so I'm gonna go with Granit Xhaka uh, we're gonna move into the attacking area the three that sit in front First off, out on the right wing, I'm going to go with Henrik Mkhitaryan. Uh, I think Mkhitaryan has done okay in previous games, apart from the Leicester game. I think he was really poor. Um, but then again, a lot of the players were. But, yeah, that is what I'm going to go with. Only simply because of rotation, so I'm going to go with Mkhitaryan. Playing out on the left side is going to be Alex Awobi. Um, I feel that Awobi has done okay in previous games, but it's just that end product and that final ball that he needs to work on. Um, see, I would give Alex Awobi another year, but if he still doesn't perfect that and he still doesn't get it right, then I think Arsenal will most likely move him on. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with Alex Awobi. Uh, playing in that number 10 role, I'm going to go with Meza Ozil. Now, simple reason is we've got no one else to put in that position. Um... He, I think he will definitely play against Valencia. There, there's no doubt about that. Um, but, yeah, it, it's a simple choice, really, because Ramsey's out injured. Denis Suarez is out injured. Don't even know why we've even got him. Um, and Smith Rowe is also out on loan. And I guess... But then you've also got Maitland Niles that's also um, suspended. So we've got no choice but to go with Mesut Ozil in that position. So that is what I'm going with. Playing up front as a leading striker is going to be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for me. Um, I feel that Lacazette needs a rest now. He's done all the hard work. He scored a few goals. Now, he was, now Lacazette was the guy that took that Valencia game by the scruff of the neck. Um, where we was 1-0 down and then he come back and scored two goals. And Aubameyang scored the last goal. Um, but I, I feel that Lacazette needs a rest. I would put him on the bench for reinsurance, just in case if we might need him. Um, but I would actually go with a Bamiang up front for this game. So that is what I'm going with, Pierre Emerick Bamiang. Um, guys, that has been the preview. That has been my predicted lineup. Let me know in the comments box if you agree or if you disagree, and let me know of your predicted score. Um, I'm just going to stick with an Arsenal two nil. That's what I'm going to go with two nil. Um, Guys, thank you to the 730 subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and make sure you're hitting that post notification bell so you do not miss another video. Um, 
Guys, I don't know when exactly. I thought I'd just let you know. Um, I've been packing um, because me and my partner and my daughter are actually moving to um, a bungalow it, not far away from my mum. So we're no longer going to be in this flat. Um, I don't know when we're moving exactly, but I do apologise if my videos do go up very late. Um, so I'm just letting you all know in advance. Um, so guys, until the players' ratings... Uh, which will be after the game. I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here. Shit.